do another um, reaction video. This is for Evil Dead Rise, final with you trailer, it says. Uh, it's on the Warner Brothers Pictures, um, I assume it's the official YouTube page. So I'm, I'm guessing this is a proper trailer. I realised the one I reacted to the other day was one of a fan trailer. And I thought it looked a bit weird. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, check this one out anyway. Um, I feel I do reviews of fan trailers as well, actually, because, you know... Just uh, they're kind of interesting, aren't they, as well? But anyway, let's just go for this Evil Dead Rise. I do love a bit of horror. Uh, I love the original. Well, I, feel, I don't think I've seen a single Evil Dead movie that I didn't enjoy, to be honest. Uh, when I was a kid, Evil Dead first came out when I was a kid. It was uh, classed as a video nasty here in the UK. And so, like, I was a bit worried about watching it. I didn't watch it when I was really young. I don't think I watched it till I was about... 18 or so when it came out on, on video um yeah in the uk and uh yeah it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be <laughs> it's got like some of the um special effects are dated now but it's still like quite a quite a good quite a cool film still it's um even with the plasticine sort of claymation kind of uh scenes in it it's still a decent movie let's have some tea mm. all right Let's crack on with play. New Line Cinema. What is this? Sir Malcolm is reading aloud the Book of the Dead. Ooh. Evil Dead Rise. I guess it's got 96% on Rotten Tomatoes already because um, I thought you had to wait for the film to come out before you've got uh, people reacting to it. I don't quite understand that. I thought that was like based on views. Um, actually, it doesn't say when this is out. I mean, has it come out already and I've missed it or something? But no, they wouldn't make a trailer for it after it came out, would they? But so far, so good. Um, looks suitably chilling. You've got the uh, voice recording on the old uh, vinyl there. I think in the original movie, in the shack in the uh, forest, it was done on a tape, wasn't it? it was a, he played an old tape with the guy who found the Necronomicon X notice. Um, yeah, and played it, and the dead rose, and uh, the deadites, as they came to be called. You know, swallow your soul, swallow your soul, dead by dawn, dead by dawn, <laughs> and all that, all that cool stuff. And then there was a remake, wasn't there, a good while later. That was quite good as well, actually. quite dark. It was a lot... Obviously, the new special effects of the time made it a lot more uh, brutal, a lot more visceral and gory. So that was, it was still pretty cool. But that never turned out to like have any sort of tra um, um, sequels at all. Whereas the original movie had, was it three movies all together? And then it had the TV show as well, which was, it, by then it had just gone from being a, a horror, to, a straight up horror to a, a comedy horror, you know? But like lots of laughs and Ash turning it away from being a... Um, like a, a real victim of the horrors and become more of a kick-ass protagonist taking out the deadites. But uh, I think this is going to be playing it with no laughs whatsoever, I should think. It also seems to be set in an urban area rather than a um, a rural area, which is a, you know, a bad concept, I suppose. It makes it more like a traditional kind of zombie movie, I guess. Let's see. Keep watching. It puts the pedal to the floor and doesn't stop. Oh, oh, oh! Well, that was interesting. That was interesting because in the original movie, the woman was attacked by the trees and uh, essentially sexually abused by the trees before being. I think she gets possessed by the deadites when when a tree kind of like <clears throat> sticks its branches where branches shouldn't go. Um, in that one, the woman was being attacked by the wires inside the inside the lift. Um, so it's not just organic material, it's like, normally in the Evil Dead movies, it's more about, you know, people are possessed, I think they're, they're dead, and then they come, you know, their dead bodies are uh, overtaken by the dead -like demons kind of thing, but, um, and um, so the evil spirit may to grab, you know, possess the trees, like, it was like the ground around there was, um, possessed for want of a better word by uh, the spirits of the deadites but it seems that it's not only organic material they can also um i don't know take over wires electrical wires in lifts apparently we, this is a a new take on the uh what the uh, evil can do right and this what's going on here there's a doll about how his head chopped off with a pair of scissors Stone Cold Killer. 
Leave, oh yeah, leaves us salivating for more. Ooh. Mom? You'll keep viewers on edge. Open up now. We can be a big happy family again. Ooh. You don't look so good, Mom. Oh dear, mummy's been possessed by the deadites and the little girl, the little girl's going to have to be the hero of this film. Uh, she's not going to have much joy uh, killing deadites, is she? Um, yeah, but not sure how I could, how I take that little children being involved. No, they're not in a, um, oh no, think of the children kind of way, but more in a, how can they realistically, uh, in a, in a, in a course of a horror movie, escape from you know, this pure evil that's coming for them. Like, it almost makes it seem to me like it's going to be a blinking R.L. Stein Goosebumps kind of uh, horror movie. It's got kids being the main protagonists. That just ain't going to work, uh, is it, really? Um, yeah. But uh, maybe she is. I don't know. They're going to make that look convincing. But let's go. This, the mother looks convincing. As a, as a, yeah, the, the effects are convincing. An absolute cloud, crowd pleaser. Not cloud pleaser. Oh, what's going on there? The film that horror fans have been waiting for. Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Tickets on sale. Oh, April 21st. So there's tickets on sale very soon. It's going to be out very, very soon. That, that section at the end where the lift doors came open and uh, the blood came shooting out, that looked like, wasn't that a scene from The Shining? Wasn't there a Shining scene like that? Um... Yeah, there seems to be a lot going on in that elevator. Uh, and the people who were doing the, uh, who had the record out in the beginning, and seemed to be playing the record, it seemed like it was a guy and a woman. I don't think you saw them again in the rest of the trailer, did you? So, interesting. I mean, it just centred around, just, uh, I don't know what's going on there. It did seem like it, I thought, maybe it's just that building that's affected, because that's where the, within the sound that the record made uh, when it was played. When it obviously did the chant read from the Book of the Dead, um, yeah, but it didn't seem like a wholesale uh, chaos going on of like lots of people in the building being affected by you know attack of the deadites. It just seemed like a couple of people. It didn't seem like a huge amount of people being involved. There was no sort of scenes of outright general chaos uh, in a group setting, was there? There was just like individuals. Mainly that little girl. Then there was a woman eating glass. That does happen. The the dead. I, I, I assume they were already dead when the deadites do, started doing that. Or either that, or they've they possessed them and they want to hurt them while they're um whatever. Ooh, yeah. So, but so that would just. I suppose the deadites don't care if they kill them because uh, they would just they possess their bodies anyway and just uh, probably easier to control them if they're dead, <laughs> dead riding around in their dead bodies. But anyway, yeah, it looks like a decent movie. Uh, I'm not too sure. Who the hero is going to be? Is that little girl going to be the hero? Is she really going to be fighting against the deadites in a in a Goosebumps R.L. Stein book kind of way? Because that's not going to be very believable, is it? Um, I saw a chainsaw though. I saw a chainsaw, and what was going on at the end there? It looks like a woman was about to be drawn into the uh, the biting metal teeth of some kind of uh, grinder or something. I don't know if it was maybe I don't know what that was meant to be. Uh, uh, some some industrial thing that won't do her any good. <laughs> That's all I could say. But yeah, it looks like a decent movie. Um, once again, I probably won't go and see it in the cinema because I'm skint. So, but uh, yeah, one I'd look forward to seeing on streaming platforms. Uh, yeah, when it's available. Hopefully, one that I subscribe to, so I haven't got to pay anything for it. Right. Anyway, yeah. Cheers for watching. Uh, looks like a decent movie. What did you think of my reaction? React to my reaction in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, looks like a good one. Anyway, cheers for watching and see you on, an, on another reaction soon.